Now, here's something I think the, the governor of uh, Virginia didn't get to see this. Apparently he don't watch TV enough, he don't keep track of the news. And all he's worried about is like all these other governors in our Congress trying to impose their will upon the American people when they don't have the authority to do so. Republicans, representatives, armed citizens have the right to repeal a tyrannical government. There's two guys that went up there. Representative Andy Biggs of Arizona and Chip Roy of Texas. I'm going to zoom this in just a little bit. I want you guys to, to see this. He spoke against gun control Wednesday on Capitol Hill and stressed that gun rights are God are God given for the purpose of not only defending self but defending liberty. Now this was September 18, uh, 2019. <clears throat> Big said, and then this you can find this in your Constitution. The founders of this country recognized that the Second Amendment in the Bill of Rights, he described their intention by saying, you have a right to defend yourself against wrongdoers and against a tyrannical government. He said, this is what the Second Amendment is about. Representative Roy addressed the Second Amendment, Second Amendment rights, which he described in his, to his people, it's the right to defend themselves. He observed, the Second Amendment rights include all his people's rights to protect themselves against any intruder or people who don't follow the law that might risk them and their families' lives, but also against any uh, tyranny against the size and scope of a government that wants to look at you and tell you, like a certain Democratic candidate, that they are going to come and take your God-given right to bear arms and defend yourself. Big said... Private gun ownership is the last bulwark of, against tyranny in the world. And he's got that right. You know, when you, when you get Congress and when you get uh, so-called governors <clears throat> trying to impose their will upon you, like global warming and all this other uh, uh, Frankenstein science that they are coming up with just to move you into a certain direction. And that's how it works. They create the problem, and then they offer a solution. You know, like Antifa? Same thing. Okay, guys, I'll put a link to this. Uh, you might want to check this out. But this, this crap of uh, people trying to impose their will upon us, and, and they're not even following the Constitution. They have to follow the Constitution because they are on, the only rights they have are are in the enumerated rights. Beyond that, Congress has no power, they no authority whatsoever. You look at your Second Amendment, and I'll say this again: after the word infringe, is there any subparagraphs A, B, C, D that would stipulate what an acceptable infringement would be? No, there's not. Therefore, they are forbidden. They are constitutionally barred from infringing upon your firearms or your ammo or trying to make you jump through hoops to get background checks to register your guns. All this is happy horse shit. It should have been flushed down the toilet a long time ago along with the people behind it. Thanks for watching.